Happy Monday. It's time for my book review show. Every Monday morning, I give you a baseball-related book review on my YouTube channel. And this one actually is a brand new book. It's called Two Sides of Glory, the 1986 Red Sox, in their own words. And it is written by Eric Sherman. Uh... The publisher is Nebraska Press, and it's available right now, uh, hot off the presses. It's about, I don't know, I think it's less than a month old. Um, at uh, anywhere you buy books, mid-20s, upper 20s, somewhere in there for your price. I got it at Thrift Books for free shipping, um, and a little cheaper, about 25 um, this book is, I guess it's th three or four things. The first thing that it is, is an update on some of the key players on the 1986 American League champion, Boston Red Sox. Uh, Eric Sherman goes and interviews, I don't know, uh, somewhere in the teens of the, uh, roster of that ball club and uh, he catches up kind of on what's been happening to them since uh, especially since their baseball careers have ended um, the focus of the interviews quickly turns however to how these men dealt with the Game six and the aftermath and the eventual loss of the World Series. Uh, but it also deals with their success, the tremendous success in winning the American League East in 1986 when nobody really thought that the Red Sox in that season were going to do that. And then nobody really thought when they went down three games to one to the California Angels, that the Red Sox could come back and win the American League pennant. And nobody really thought that the Red Sox could even, I don't know, make it to four games in the World Series against the Mets. Uh, and they took them to seven. So the two sides of glory, the, the unexpected success that they... Um, had as a team is discussed in the book with these players, as well as the um, dealing with the aftermath of not coming through to win the World Series and the expectations from fans and all that good stuff. This is a moving book. I found it to be moving uh, because so many of these guys have had such a hard time in dealing with that. And in fact, many of them have been the targets of abuse, frankly, from Red Sox Nation. It is a, so it's a very interesting book. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It's a little bit under 250 pages. Uh, the players interviewed for the book, and each one kind of gets their own chapter. Uh, Bill Buckner, Roger Clemens, Jim Rice, Wade Boggs, Dennis Oilcan Boyd, Rich Gedman, uh, Spike Owen, Tom Seaver, Bob Stanley, Dwight Evans, Marty Barrett, Steve Lyons, who of course got traded for Seaver in the midst of all that, Bruce Hurst, and Calvin Schiraldi were just some of the names that he interviewed for the book. Uh, it's well written. It's well organized. I find that Eric Sherman has asked these guys some really good questions, and really, frankly, some really difficult questions. Uh, there is a section of pictures in the book that are black and white, and they are printed on the page. And I'll show you what that kind of looks like. That's Buckner and Clemens on this particular page. So um, I find this to be something, first of all, it hasn't been done with this team before. And this team, uh, the men on this team experienced such a unique 
thing um, in what they went through, uh, it's, it's a lot. And at certain points, uh, it's, it's really a lot. Um, I'm thinking now about the section, the interview with Buckner, but there's other sections here too that, um, Bob Stanley, a lot of abuse and, uh, just amazing to see how these guys have endured. Many of them either found or renewed their faith, um, and just got through uh, the second part of their lives, but having to deal with this, um, well, kind of, for some of them, I would use the word trauma. So it's a very interesting book. I encourage you to pick it up. I think it's a good read. If you do it electronically or in paper copy, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed reading this book. It's called Two Sides of Glory. Eric Sherman is the writer. It's about the 1986 Boston Red Sox, a little less than 250 pages, and Nebraska Press is the publisher. Thank you for joining me. Every Monday we do a book review about the, uh, with the theme of baseball. Sometimes it's fiction, sometimes it's nonfiction. Subscribe for more. I need your subscriptions, folks. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So long, everybody.